about the moments leading up to the hate-fueled rampage that killed 10 people. Investigators say the suspect posted his plans online before the attack. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with the latest. Dick. Well, Maurice and Jessica, it appears a plot was in the works for months. CBS News reviewed more than 600 pages of the messages the alleged gunman is believed to have written on the social media platform Discord, and the company confirms he was on the platform 30 minutes before the attack. New York State Attorney General Tish James says she's launching an investigation into the social media companies used by the suspected gunman in the Buffalo shooting. She tweeted they include Twitch, 4chan, 8chan, and Discord. Messages by the suspect on Discord date back five months. In a March post, the alleged gunman identified the top supermarket as Attack Area 1, where he planned to shoot all blacks. Later that month, post-show, he scoped it out in person and uploaded hand-drawn maps of the grocery store. In order for law enforcement to see content in a site like Discord or even private Facebook groups, they would have to be in that group at a particular time. Not only are there legal prohibitions, there's the practicality of saying, how do we collect that? Discord says the suspect was posting to a private invite-only channel. A small group was ultimately invited to it just a half an hour before the shooting began. The company says it has an internal team that works to identify and remove extremist content like hate speech and threats of violence. But the platform has around 150 million monthly users. It would have been very difficult for anyone outside of his direct community to find or interact with his posts. Retired FBI agent Catherine Schweitz says it's extremely difficult to find hateful posts online. Unless the American people get their head out of the sand and find a way to be aware of their children, their neighbors and their co-workers, we're never going to solve this problem. There's new information about an incident involving the suspect last year. The Broome County District Attorney says while attending an online class, he made disturbing comments about murder and suicide, but claimed he was joking. A teacher reported it. The state police took precautions and took the defendant to Binghamton General Hospital for a psychiatric evaluation. Now we're told at that point he was evaluated by a mental health professional and was released a short time later. Now, only if someone is found to be dangerous by a mental health professional can they be committed to a facility, but apparently that didn't happen in this case. Jessica and Maurice. All right, Dick, thanks. Boost your mood in New Jersey. Surprise yourself with new wonders. Or rediscover the places and...